In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to read and beat Cover 3 defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you um, get better at Madden 21. I upload four times a day here on YouTube videos that are designed to teach you some type of tangible tactic, trick, um, skill, scheme that you can apply to your offense or defense to get better at this game. All right, guys, so I got a question about um, cover three, uh, really about reading the defense in general. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to specifically talk about all the different covers. I wanted to do kind of a coverage series and talk about this. This is going to be just as helpful for me as it probably is for you. But we're going to talk about majority of what you're going to see when we start talking about cover three. So uh, I'm just going to come out in a cover two and I want because what I want to do is I want to show you what happens when you come out in cover three. Now, in my opinion, and I've talked about this before, but the best way to beat cover three is through using trip sets, primarily through using the play like a play like fade stops or stick wheel or any of these plays right here. Uh, but personally, fade stops is what we're going to use to beat cover three. We're in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. Now, when I audible to any of these cover three plays, what you're going to see is my everything is going to change on the defense. So if I audible to just straight cover three, watch what happens. You see the cornerbacks on the outside here? The cornerbacks are going to back up to about five, five to ten yards off of the line of scrimmage. Now, if I audible to cover two, look. You see how they're about three to five yards off the line of scrimmage? And if I'm in cover two man, you see how they're pressed? That alignment is going to tell you what coverage it is. So uh, based off of the alignment of the defense – that tells me that he is running some type of cover three. Now, if he were to run, uh, here, here's a here's an example for you. So, cover three, you've got the corners off, off backed off coverage. Now, one little simple tip that you can use for cover three, you have to understand when you're when you're playing against a cover three. Cover three is designed to take away. At least this is in my opinion of it. Uh, I think overall cover three is one of the best coverages in Madden, because, especially this year with the way zone drops play. Cover three is designed to take away, at least from what I can say, is in, interior short routes like in routes, slant routes, crossing routes, um, drag routes. Those are kind of the things that your cover three is going to be. So what we can do is do some testing here. And what I'm going to tell you is typically a five or ten yard out route for the most part, will be a cover three, but you see here it doesn't. Why? Because the outside thirds, the outside thirds literally get outside leverage. This makes cover three a lot better this year than it's ever been because you can't just throw an out route, right? That's what I want to do. That's what I know to do, right? Against cover three, I say, well, just throw an out route and you'll beat it. And you can. You can throw a five-yard out route and you'll beat it fairly okay. Um my my cloud or my uh, curl flats are shaded down a little bit, and so you know typically you could fit this in, but you'll see on both sides of the field. If I try to run a ten and out this year, it's difficult to beat the cover three. That's the window that you that is the window, right? But it's difficult to beat cover three. So what I want to talk about now is there's a bunch of different types of it. So like there's cover three sky, but there's also cover three buzz, right? Cover three buzz, which is very different from cover three sky. Um, you know, if you were to run a, a concept that you would normally run, you're going to see that cover three sky or cover three buzz is going to make it a little bit different. Um, and so what you're going to see in general from a cover three is these outside thirds. That to me is the thing that you want to pay attention to. How do the outside thirds play? Because if I can understand how this, the deep coverage plays, I can understand how the, the underneath coverage plays. What you'll find is, it's just my opinion, as a general rule, the outside thirds play fairly well against corner routes and against out routes this year. I mean, they just do. So, like, if I try to throw this route to sale here, what you're going to see, this, this is a route that used to be able to beat cover three. This year it does not beat cover three most of the time, especially with the way people play. Where cover three gets in trouble, at least in my opinion, is when you can run what I would say is an over post. What I mean by that is a route that literally 
is going to go about five to ten yards and cut across the fo- the entire formation because what you're going to basically be able to do is you're going to be able to manipulate the outside thirds because the route isn't going to be on that side of the field. Okay, so we'll show you an example of what I'm talking about right here. And of course, I would be in man coverage. Also, guys, if you're just watching this video, what I want to encourage you to do right now is go to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click the subscribe button. That way you won't miss an upload. Again, we upload four times a day here on YouTube. So here is cover three. So this right here is what I mean by over route. And we're going to break this down in practice mode here in just a second. But as you can see, this is a, this is a cover three kill. Now this specific route from fade stops. Let me show you the route before we go into practice mode. You see that route right there? It's an over, it's what, what I would call an over route, over post route. I don't know exactly the terminology for it. Um, I don't know if there really is one. It's a very unique route. But basically what happens, watch this outside third. His principle is that he is always going to play 10 yard and out breaking patterns. As you can see here, that's why you can't throw out routes, 10 yard out routes against cover three anymore. Used to be able to do this all day. Now you can't. But what it opens is a window of opportunity here. So you see here, watch the deep safety. The deep safety is put in conflict. He can either take this guy or he can take this guy. And this is where four verticals just wins. I mean, it's basically four verticals, right? This is how people beat cover three in real life. Um, you're going to see this this kind of concept. And what, what I like to do is I, I will literally – and trips you know compressed trips is even better than spread trips for this at least in my opinion because if Zachers was a little closer it would be even harder for that deep safety to come so we'll show you this is going to beat everything so we're going to show you here's cover three match and this idea of an over route is going to absolutely torture it as long as the practice mode sheds are just crazy this year so i'm going to go ahead and cancel the, the blitz uh, just because I personally I can't handle how how much they shed but literally they're gonna pull and you'll see that's cover three match over the top one play touchdown uh, we'll show you again uh, what's also interesting about this and I wish I'll come back to this this point in just one second I want to show you all these coverages really quickly um, but as I'm showing you these coverages you're gonna see this is gonna be very very consistent um, I mean, you're just going to kill cover three. Um, there's just no way, no way around it. The the deep third does not cover this. Does does not cover this route because it's an over route. It's an over route. It's not designed to. It's not designed to cover the route. Um, but what else, what else I wanted to talk about here is if you have not already joined my YouTube channel Discord, you can do that by clicking the link in the description. Discord is a great opportunity for you to be able to connect with Madden players from all over the world and get ideas for tips and tactics tactics that are going to help you, but also allows you to be a voice in the community as well and help other people. And you can get your questions answered that way as well. Anyway, so I just ran through all the coverages. And you saw that pretty much there's nothing that the deep third can do. Now, what, what some people have done, and, and I actually saw a video, I saw someone talking about this, I think, in Discord yesterday. Um, and that's why I say it's so important to join the Discord because you just – you just don't realize how significant it's going to be. Um, so, so here's what I was talking about yesterday. So, cover four is different than cover three, and we're going to have an entire video uh, video devoted toward cover four. So, don't worry about that. But the outside quarters of cover four is what I want to focus in on. So, cover three sky, and what people will do to try to get that safety back on the over route is they will drop outside quarters. I actually don't know if it's going to work or not. I don't think it will. But you'll see here that out route is still going to pull. See how that works this year? So it's going to pull both. It's going to pull an outside quarter. It's also going to pull an outside third. So you're going to win against cover four and against cover three with this one play. Um, at least at least in the sense of if they try to outside quarter. Because that's some people's solution. Uh, some people's solution is to say, okay, well, you're going to run four verticals. So you know what I'm going to do? is I'm going to run outside quarters of both my guys, and you'll see it just doesn't work. Uh, it just it doesn't stop this at all. You're going to be able to hit that route over and over and over again against your opponent. You see it's very, very consistent. Now, 
what they're going to do is they're going to have to go to some type of um, hybrid coverage. They're not going to be able to run both. But if they were to throw, let's say they throw this deep safety on the left side of the field in a deep half. Now that's completely different. The deep half is an inside breaking zone. And what you'll see now is it gets back on the ball. This is why, this is why one of the better uh, cover three concepts, at least in my opinion, is the cover three invert, where basically what you do is you take this uh, middle linebacker, you throw him into a deep third, and then you throw your outside guys into deep thirds. Shade coverage over top, and you're going to see this plays fairly well against some of the routes that were very, very effective against cover three. We'll show you this right now. And you'll see. See how that deep half gets back there this year? That's never that that has been very rare in Madden, at least in my opinion. I, I haven't seen a ton of that. So what does that mean for your offense? Well, if they just deep, you know, Cody, if they just come out and cover three and they just deep half everybody, you know, what are you gonna do? Well, let me show you. This is why you run uh, multiple concepts on multiple plays. Because again, it doesn't change the principles, it just the principles of that specific zone change. So what you'll see here is you're going to be able to then run ba very, very basic underneath patterns, underneath curl flat uh, type of concepts. This is why uh, most of the time what you'll see is we will often pair concepts. So you get the deep halves on the outside here. You got that underneath. And now what you're going to see is we can do a couple of different things, right? One of the things that we can do is we can take the running back and we can pop him on just a quick check and release route here to the left and create a curl flat concept basically. And what you'll see is you can low ball inside pass lead. I don't know why uh, Carson went through the ball to the right when I told him to throw the ball left, but you'll see you can hit that. You can hit that route very, very consistently. What's also really unique about this specific um, play, especially using fade stop routes, if you use fade stop routes as pull routes, what happens is those routes go to a little bit deeper of a section of the field than out routes do. And so you'll have some unique windows uh, to be able to throw that ball there. And of course I'm getting killed when I'm trying to break it down in live action. But basically what you, basically what happens is you can literally take your running back here, throw him on a quick flat, you smart route your fade stop, you're still running your four verticals concept on the right side of the field. And I'm telling you, very, very few people will, will know to do this. But those deep halves will make the cover three play a little better, at least in my opinion. They will. But you're going to see here, you can low ball pass lead to the inside to Alshon Jeffrey. This also this also is going to leave the middle of the field a lot more open. It's in, in the sense of you're going to be able to throw, um, and this is also partially because of the shades that I have, uh, on the zone drops, which are very, very good zone drop shade, uh, shades. But what you're going to be able to do, um, we'll show you this one more time here. This is go to cover three. And let's see if we can get some time in the pocket here to sit back. Right there, pass lead inside, click on. And for whatever reason, we're not going to make the play. But you can also hit the running back. Um, one of the other things you can do here is you can just pop this little zone, this little quick curl but what happens is let me show you uh how the the deep halves are going to play this so deep halves are now going to play deep like they're going to play deep inside okay they're not going to play deep outside and so what that means is if you run a play like sale right all of a sudden now what you'll find is this little over route is going to be an absolute dot against that cover three, as you can see right there. Little uh, crossing type of pattern. Uh, you can also do this from the play Y cross or the play PA read. Um, crossing routes will now uh, give this more more trouble, um, but this is a better way, in my opinion, to run a cover three is to have those deep halves out there. But you'll see these crossing routes become much much more wide open when you do something like that so but anyways guys that is how to read cover threes that is how to beat cover threes 
in general, those are some principles that are going to guide you and help you. But um, if someone is putting deep, you know, this might be advice for you. I mean, if you're running cover three, put them in a deep half, see what happens. Um, it's going to help. But anyways, guys, if you want more in-depth breakdown of my offense or my defense in Madden 21, you can pick up my full competitor's guide. It's We bundled both of them together this year, so it's just one price, and that is in the description of this video. So you can pick that up right now. Uh, it's my Madden 21 competitive bundle guide. A lot of great reviews on that. Uh, one of the guys said it's the best $25 he's ever spent. We go into a ton of detail on this stuff. Over 75 pages of material that is going to be your one-stop shop guide to everything from a scheme perspective in Madden 21. All right, guys, we will see you in tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, and pick up the competitor's bundle guide. We'll see you.